Thank you. Well, congratulations on your new project, Ariana. I need to know how you even managed to prepare for a role such as this. Not only are you playing a chef, but you're also taking on a very horror element as well. So how did you how did you approach this role? Uh, you know, I when I first read the script, I don't know that I really clocked that I was making a horror film. <laughs> Um, which was good because that meant I focused on her culinary skills. Um, and and I, I kind of threw myself into it. Mm. I didn't have as long of a time as I probably would have liked to pre prepare. But I definitely got myself into a kitchen. I was not playing games. I was like, I need to observe. I need to see how a female chef runs her kitchen. And so I hung out with Chef Aisha down at Chouquette here in Chelsea. And that was so eye-opening. She also gave me a great jump start with my knife skills and just basic work around the kitchen. And I was like, oh, ow. So I have such a like profound grace and sense of compassion for people, for those that are working in these kitchens, especially providing any sort of fine dining experience. The pressure is so high. Um, and then I continued to train while I was working on the film in Budapest. Um, our food stylist, Zoe Hegadush, who, while she was busy creating these incredible uh, dishes that you see in our film, was also teaching me how to make them and helping keep my skills sharp, if you get my meaning. <laughs> well, now I have to ask, because you said you kept up with the training, you were being, um, you know, being taught all these recipes. Was there a recipe that you took home that you were like, I'm going to make this all the time? Oh, I mean, you know, what's funny is I don't necessarily make this specifically, but I've adapted it to a point like in the opening scene, you see me making a sirloin and there's like a spooning technique that you use. It's like butter, garlic, rosemary, and you get all that goodness on top of the sirloin. Wow. And I can make a mean sirloin. I'm very proud of that. Um, but sometimes I'll do that with, with any sort of meat, like chicken, turkey, it's just divine, delicious. And you can, you can taste all of the elements. And uh, I like that. I like to actually taste the ingredients in my food. I don't want things over, over marinated, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. I don't know if that makes me a snob. Can't believe I, I like to taste my food. Kind of, what is that? Um, but it's true. I do. I, 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 I do tend to lean towards simple simple ingredients and simple recipes less is more for me so. i think as long as you didn't say i let the food speak for me i don't think that makes you a snob no <laughs> that's definitely not my vibe um <laughs> no <laughs> what is it saying no i mean i don't get me wrong i love a fine dining experience but honestly you'll catch me in a hole in the wall because sometimes that's where the best food is you know simple homey experiences are good and the food may be speaking to me but i'm just enjoying it period okay so for my final question if you could sum up this film in one word what would it be oh my god i i don't know that i can one word um can i do two you said one, but I have yeah. two. Shockingly empowering. Oh, I love that. I love that. You know what I mean, <laughs> like, I think it's shockingly empowering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for letting me speak with you today. And I'm so excited for people to see your film. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you being here.